Hey folks, it's that time again. I'm gonna trim the steampunk tank and I'd like to tell you what I do with the plants that just get too big. Hey YouTube, this is Pack Tag. Just a quick two second update on my life. Uh, I'm working again, I'm working from home. I'm doing a, doing this on my lunch break this week. Uh, Kerrigan's gone, so it's just me and Toby here at the house during the day. Toby tolerates me a little bit and then, whoop, he's gone. <laughs> Things are going pretty well overall, I got no complaints. Uh, just kind of doing the best I can. Uh, working from home is, is a little strange, but uh, it's not terrible. I'm still kind of getting in the swing of things, and uh, the, there's just one video this week. I'm going to start uh, back with the Show Me What You Got stuff next week. I'm kinda, I've got a new laptop. I've got it all squared away, and I've been kind of playing with it a little bit. I don't have everything set up yet, though, and I prob I've been too busy at work kind of getting back into the swing of things to, to pick that up right away. But I should be able to start it back next week. Uh, I've got a great video planned for next week. It's actually been in the works for a little while. So I actually did this trim a, a while back. It's been several weeks ago, right after I broke down the flex. And I was gonna include it with, um, I was gonna include it with another video, maybe the propagation video, but it just got too long. Like the video itself got too long. And I thought, well, this could be kind of its own thing. It might be interesting enough to be <laughs> its own video. So about uh, twice a year, I actually go into the glass here and take a look at how the plants are doing and try to you know trim back the plants. So usually what happens is the plants grow so tall that they start sticking to the sides of it and shading everything else out and really kind of killing things off. Since I've moved this to the window, even though I keep the window closed a lot of the time, it has done much, much better. As far as getting lots of light uh, to all the different plants, this little light's done pretty good, but the extra light I get from the window, I think really helps things out. It actually kind of pours through the top a little bit. Uh, it looks super dark in here, but that's because the contrast of the lights from the outside are so, uh, so strong. It, it makes this look like it's not showing up, but it, it is lit inside there, although it's very dim. So anyway, the way this starts is, I, uh, I pull off the top and I take a look inside. Now I had, I had bought a bunch of Anubias, like uh, I bought a bunch of kind of tissue culture Anubias from PetSmart and I wanted to experiment with putting those inside of here because they basically have been go grown above the water in these tissue cultures. So I thought that they would adapt really well to the environment I was gonna put them in here, which is sort of like a paludarium. Uh, kind of a terrarium, paludarium. There's, there are, if you haven't seen the setup for the steampunk tank before, basically inside of here there are, there are uh, wabikusa balls. There's about three of them in there, and they keep, they, they kind of provide some ground that, that wicks up moisture. And all the plants inside of here are growing off of those. But some of the Anubis uh, species that I got were actually quite large. And uh, they grew to an enormous size, and you'll get a better feel for this uh, when I go to put them in the propagation bin here in a second. Another great plant that's done really well is the cardinal plant. I was really surprised at just how well it really did. And it seems to be more appropriately sized for this uh, particular little enclosure, so I've, I've left some of those in there. I, I really like the way those look. They don't get too big. They kind of turn into this nice little, uh, this nice little bushy, bushy stem plant. Something else that's done okay in here are abuse. Uh, this seems like a like a more natural environment for abuse. If you've ever looked up what abuse grows on in the wild, it's usually on rocks and stuff next to riverbanks. Well, I guess it can be in all kinds of different places. There are a lot of different species and probably environments for them. But every time I've seen them, like when I go to look it up. Uh, they tend to be above water, first of all, and, and uh, attached to something moist. So I figured this would be a great, uh, a great place to put some in here. And I actually took some that's been growing underwater uh, for a while, but never really, never really got 100%. Like it never seemed super healthy. Uh, I went ahead and I put some of those in here, some stuff from the 15 gallon. 
other stuff from the 15 gallon did end up going in the 25 uh, when I set it up, but uh, but a few of the kind of like the the more questionable plants they they just ended up going in here. And now that it's been several weeks later, I can say that they are doing great. Um, this might be a really nice way to kind of uh, grow some use. And I'm hopefully if it take if it really takes off in here, what I'd like to do is I'd, I'd like it if a lot of this were were abuse and maybe just a little bit of the cardinal plant. It's kind of taking over right now. Uh, if you look at it, if you look at the more modern look inside of this thing, I've tried all kinds of plants inside of here. I think uh, the the scenario I've got right now is probably my favorite, and uh, it seems to be doing the best. I will continue to rotate little selections of plants in and out of there just to kind of experiment with how they do uh, as I go along. This tank's lasted a lot longer than I kind of thought it would. Uh, it's it's a keeps the water very very healthy. Every all the little guys in here, my little danger noodles or coolie loaches, uh, they seem to be uh, enjoying themselves in there. So once I got all these pulled out, I didn't want to just toss them away, and uh, I finally had a place to put them. Uh, that was it was a big reason I kind of started the propagation bins to begin with. I always had this in the back of my mind to, to kind of buy me some time until I could build a terrarium and maybe include them in that. So let's see what I did with them. All right, so when I took down the flex, I also did a little bit of a trim on the steampunk tank. And I, I put all of the plants that I collected into here. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put them in my one of my propagation bins. Uh, at least some of the ones that were, especially the ones from the steampunk tank, those big Anubias that I pulled out of there, to see if they can survive in there. Because uh, they're definitely too big to be in that little glass container inside of the steampunk tank. And they're probably too big <laughs> to be in this little container as well, but uh, it's the best I got for now. I might have to actually go get some bigger boxes. I just put some stuff over the top of this to help help keep the uh, help keep the moisture in here, keep them nice and wet. Oh my goodness. Some of these are just absolutely enormous uh, pieces of Anubias, and I don't know, I'm not really sure what else to do with them. Oh no. These are obviously not going to work inside of here either, so, hmm. Okay. This one's a little bit smaller. It'll probably work. Want you a nice little area to live in over here. Won't be quite as moist as it was inside the other thing, but at least it's already used to just kind of living in a, a humid environment. These are so big, it's hard to believe that this was this was inside of the steampunk tank. Like it's so large. Like this is so much bigger than than that tank was. I'm not sure how it was holding it in there. Hopefully with my, uh, hopefully with the projects that are coming up, I'll be able to pull most of the stuff out of here, but I also had some pretty nice big cardinal plants in here. Oh, quite a few of them actually. These are really neat and they've done great in my, uh, in the steampunk tank. Sometimes they transfer to water okay too, but it might be more useful as terrarium plants. If I can keep them alive, that is. Quite a few other plants too, like some of these really pretty ones as well, but uh, I just don't have a lot of space in this box. I guess I need, I guess I really need to get some more propagation bins. <laughs> Or actually build a terrarium and uh, get some of these things out of here. Hopefully I can save most of these plants, uh, some or most of these plants. Oh man, there's really, there's so many of these big Anubias. They did amazingly well. These were all the, those ones that I got from, their, their, those little plants that are grown in the gel stuff from PetSmart or all of those things 
Now, most of the rest of this, I think, are crypts, and I don't need to do anything with them. It looks actually kind of dry in here, so I'm going to give it a little bit of a little bit of rain. <laughs> and just make sure it's nice and moist in here for all these new plants. And okay, we'll seal this up and see if the propagation bin does what it's supposed to. Oh, I've got this one last one. It's just too big. It's too big to go in anything. Maybe it's time for this thing to go underwater. We'll see how it does there. All right, up we go. Hey, so one of the benefits about shooting a video way far in advance and then kind of revisiting it later when you finally put it to production is you can do an update right away. And so here's the propagation bin uh, many, many weeks later. I think it's been more than a month later. As you can see, everything's growing really well in here. I've got a nice little kind of, uh, we'll call it a less attractive terrarium going <laughs> going inside of here. And all the plants I transferred uh, are doing good, doing real good. This stuff, this cardinal plant is just like bulletproof, this Anubis. Anubius is doing great. Uh, the bigger one that I pulled out of there, I ended up putting in my in my flex, the Mega Flex, and it's doing good too. Pretty cool. I've got a few gnats. I've noticed um, I'm getting gnats in here, and, and there's a lot of different ways to deal with that. That'll maybe be a future video. Uh, I haven't really worried about it too much yet, but yeah. There it is. Yeah, there's the propagation bed. I'm in good shape. Uh, should I get a big terrarium one day <laughs> or have an opportunity to set one up? Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to get these things out of here before too long or they'll start crowding out the inside of here too. They just keep growing. All right. Hey folks, that's about it for this week. Uh, I'll be back with another regular aquarium video next week. Uh, we're gonna take a look at, uh, I think it's been seven or eight months since I set up the fluval flora downstairs, the new fluval flora, not the old style, but the brand new style. And I used a really neat uh, fluval canister filter, a little tiny mini fluval canister filter. A lot of people were wondering how I felt about that over time. We're gonna give you an update, like a six or seven month update on that canister filter. Uh, I'm actually gonna take another one and replace the filter on my 20 gallon, so I get to take it all back apart again and kind of show you how it goes together and tell you about what it's been like to run one on the tank downstairs. That's all coming up next week. Once again, big thank you to my Patreons that have really helped me through uh, what's been a very trying time. Hopefully now that I have a job again, uh, we can look forward to bigger and better projects. I can't wait to uh, show you what I can do. But I'll be back soon with another video. Until next time, follow your bliss, keep a clean tank, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. I did this trim actually, ow! What? And tell you how much, uh, and tell you about, and tell you what it's been like owning one uh, with the one down and tell you about. Hey, hello! Oh, yes. Hello, everyone! I'm Toby, and I hate to be handled. So, about, about twice. <laughs> okay, so when I took down the flex, I also decided to do a little trim on the steampunk tank. Okay, so what. I... <laughs> oh, that's terrible.